Right. I think we're going to go ahead and segue into uh, the next one. This one, this is a personal favorite, ladies and gentlemen. I can assure you this, uh, what follows, this is the weirdest bunch of information that I personally uh, am aware of. And if uh, anyone is aware of anything, uh, information stranger than this, please, please do uh, let me know. So, for me, it, it boils down to, again, like I was saying, claims about uh, contact. All you really have to go on is what people say uh, they experienced or, or what happened uh, to them. Were they you know, experienced uh, interacting with something other, other than human? And the, the, question, the question then is, you know, how do you verify that? How can you make sense <laughs> of, of claims uh, like that? There's a, a late ufologist named John Mack, who's a Harvard a psychiatrist, who we found out actually at last year's UFO convention that he had been uh, struck by a drunk driver and killed in, in London. We actually have an, an interview uh, with him um, that we can show a little later uh, from an, a uh, science and consciousness conference in, uh, in New Mexico. It's sort of funny because uh, his assistant was uh, filming him from the back of my car while I drove him to the airport. So it's like 15 minutes of John Mack's uh, ear. And, uh, but John Mack put himself uh, very much out on a limb as a mainstream uh, academic, wrote a book called um, I forget what it was, uh, abducted perhaps, or uh, abduction, something like that, where he really uh, you know, sort of crunched the data on the sheer numbers of people who claimed that they were, uh, that they had been abducted or had had this kind of uh, contact. And in his, his later work, uh, he started to develop a, uh, uh, you know, more of a theory. You know, people will ask him, you know, how, you know, can, how can you just you know, believe this, what, what people are, are, are telling you? And he's like, well, the fact that it, it puts these people under such stress, you, you can't hide that. You know, it's basically, it's, it's, it's real at a, at a visceral level. If, if recounting their abduction experiences affected them at a visceral level, you can tell that they, that they, are, not, uh, that they are not faking that. So in, in one level, he's, he's giving them the benefit of the doubt. At another level, he's just taking their accounts at, uh, at, at face value. And what he claims we need is a science of human experience. And that, uh, that's, that's very tricky, but I, I think he's right. And um, with, with that in mind, we see this, this first uh, picture here. This is a woman from the, uh, the Kung San in the uh, Kalahari Desert. And she's clearly uh, in, a, in a state of deep trance and uh, is, I believe, you know, According to her experience, she is talking to her own ancestors or, or, a, or a deity. And um, what I think is interesting is to put these, these phenomena side by side. So we're going to, um, that's what we're going to do as this presentation um, goes along. But one thing that's interesting to me about uh, trans possession is that uh, people who, who truly go under, as this person uh, apparently is, is that they will have missing time. Um, you know, there, there are other forms of, uh, again, communication, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's psychic, uh, you could also say it's, it's, it's spiritual, but it's like, it's, it's purely uh, subjective, and um, so there, you know, maybe situations where, you know, the person experiencing this remains lucid, but they're getting, you know, voices in, the, in their head that, that have some uh, significance, some consequence uh, for them. Uh, but for a person like this, per, per, particularly if it's a uh, uh, priestess, could we get the, the next frame? On you? Okay, well, we'll return to that uh, in, in a moment. So first to, uh, to go back one, the, um, to, to give a tip of the hat to the, uh, to, to the skeptics. Okay. The previous two frames are, uh, these are drawings by adeptes. The, these are images drawn by people who claim that they were abducted by aliens. And these are from uh, Skeptic Magazine, and they purposefully chose the, the silliest, most childlike images they could.